Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Tuesday market webcast. All right. Hope everybody is well. A few days away from the Christmas holiday. Um, just understand today is a this is a four day week. Uh, Friday, Globex, everything is completely closed. Um, and you can always get the holiday calendars over on the CME website in case uh, you want it for your records. We post that in the room for our subscribers, but uh, this year's Christmas is pretty straightforward. So as far as, as yesterday was concerned, um, the Bears had a great Sunday night into most of Monday. Um, they eventually ran into the lower Bollinger Band here on the daily chart, and this is the 100-day exponential moving average, and they defended it, and we're getting a bounce. It's a significant bounce up to the 50, but the question is, you know, do the Bears step in again as they did before um, and, and push this tape back down? So we printed new all-time highs. They bring it all the way back in. Three very nice down days, and you're getting a bounce. So we've talked for anybody that's followed the pod. Yeah, that's not a, this is not a podcast. Anybody who's followed the webcast for a length of time knows that one of the things that I talk about over and over again is it's not, in down markets, it's not really the fact that there are going to be bounces. There are going to be violent down market bounces. It's what do the bears do about it? Do you do nothing about it? Here's a good example of doing nothing about it. Um, from this high, three solid days back, they bounce it. And what do they do about it? Nothing. They lay down for two months. Okay. Um, here... They bring it back, they level it off, they do let them make all-time highs, then they knock it down again. So we're in much more of a trading range, really honestly, since, um, you know, with a couple notable moves off of the top, really since this first move to 40, uh, 40 half, back on November uh, 22nd, you've got the high ends of this range, you've got the low end of the range there, that 44.92. I really thought yesterday, uh, they had a real opportunity to go down and get the, the, the full-throated test of the low end of the range. They did not. So what they've done here, though, is they do they have put in a, a higher low versus that 44.92, and they're going to have to deal with that. The only way to deal with it is lower high, lower low. So hourly chart. Um, here's your 100-day. That was support yesterday. Um they opened Sunday, they pushed up into 20 to 21, which is the pre-FOMC price from last week and the monthly pivot, and they knocked it down. They've climbed back now to the red line here, which is the 50-day exponential. Um, and what they are trying to do now is determine, actually it's a 50-day simple, is, is to determine whether this is it, or whether we have to get back into this 4620 area. But somewhere here, the green line is the 20 day simple moving average. This is the middle band. That's the delineator. That is the ultimate delineator between whether we are in a buy dips market or a sell rallies market. Right now, we're in a sell rallies market. And you can't sell a rally without a rally. So it was a very nice trading day for us yesterday. We were short, we're currently long from uh, right around 45, 40, uh, 45, 45, the 44, 45 area. Took some profits uh, yesterday and last night, and we've got a runner that we just keep rolling up. Right now it's rolled up to, to plus 40. So we were able to get our week done yesterday, which is great in a holiday week. Like I said, it's a four day week. Um, and one of the things I was really harping on in the room yesterday was look, you know, during this time of year, when we're in a situation like we are in the room where your your goals for the day are met, your goals for the week are met, your goals for the month are met, your goals for the year are met, and they're met with, you know, with, with, with a truckload of room to spare. Take this time of year and, you know, whatever your persuasion and just enjoy the end of the year and get into next year, get yourself mentally and, he, and, and physically prepared for another year of trading next year. Because when, you know, when the calendar rolls to 2022 and we hit the ground running, by week two or week three, the market will be fully picked up 
and we're all starting over again from, you know, from zero. Um, at least that's the way I like to think of it. Um, it, you know, like use this time to, you know, to, to really try to recharge, really try to recharge. It's, 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 um, I can't emphasize it enough. I cannot emphasize it enough. You don't have to be staring at a one minute chart at two 30 in the afternoon. If all your goals for the week are met and the tape is just chopping in some kind of a range, because the thing about December tapes is they're very active and then they'll go to sleep. When they go to sleep, walk away, just walk away. Um, so volume weight average price is about 87 half. Our proprietary moving average about 92 half. Five minute mids at 98 and change, but it's really all about this 50 day, which is up at uh, 02 quarter, um, uh, yeah, about 02 quarter. And I, I'm curious to see where we close today relative to this large chunk of all kinds of key prices. Weekly pivot, the nine day, the 20 day, pre-FOMC price, monthly pivot, 50 day. It's all wound up here in this box. The other thing is this, we may trade up into this box and we might stay there. And if we might stay there, that's a great day to unwind and recharge. All right, everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well. I will talk to you tomorrow.